The BPMN standard was developed to meet the needs of business process modeling, regardless of their complexity. During the development of a process, all these elements are linked together to achieve one or more objectives. In the first videos, we presented the BPMN standard in its entirety. Now, we will look in more detail at the different figures starting with the activities. Activities allow for the execution of an action. In the end, it's within these activities that all the work is done. Activities are grouped into seven main families. User tasks, manual tasks, service tasks, the script task business rule tasks, activities, sub-process tasks. The user task. This is simply for a task that a user must perform within a computer application. This task is visually represented with a small pictogram in the form of a human to emphasize this aspect. The manual task. Very similar to the user task, the manual task allows you to define a task that is performed outside of any computer system. This task is represented with an open hand pictogram. The service task. This is for a computerized task that does not require human intervention. In practice, it involves using an existing computer function or program. In this example, the service, send invoices by mail, will automatically browse all the invoices created during the day and send them to the customers. The service task allows you to launch remote programs via web services. So in this example, the user could create an invoice in a given software and the service will integrate this invoice into another software through a web service call. These service tasks can therefore orchestrate end-to-end -end processes in several applications. This task is represented by a gear pictogram. The script task. Very similar to the service task, the script task enables you to write the computer code directly in the task, while the service task must use an existing function, code, or web service. This task is represented by a pictogram of an annotated sheet. Business rule tasks. This is a function that allows you to have one or more values in output according to values in the input. It is a new task for which we use the DMN standard. We will provide a video about it in the future. The subprocess task. This is a tool that contains other activities, gateways, and events. This set of inclusions defines a process nested in the parent process. The generic task. This is a task whose type is unknown. This allows you to focus on the process and the actions to be performed, regardless of the way in which the task will be performed. However, its type must still be specified if the process is to be implemented in computer terms. It should be noted that not all BPMN processes are necessarily intended to be implemented electronically. It may simply be a diagram that allows a process to be understood even if it's not computerized.